Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to Friday's edition of the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well today. We're going to close out this great week with Jesus' pattern of prayer. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Genesis 15, 7 through chapter 17, verse 27. Psalm 6, 1 through 5. Proverbs 1, 20 through 23. And Matthew 6, 5 through 24. Our focal scripture is going to come from Matthew 6, 9. Again, we're going to be talking about Jesus' pattern of prayer. And Matthew 6, 9 says this, Therefore, you should pray like this, Our Father in heaven, your name be honored and holy. One of the most precious passages in the whole of the New Testament is the Lord's Prayer. These words of Jesus, so seemingly simple, encompass every conceivable element in prayer and reduce it to a clearly understood pattern. The Lord's Prayer, or more commonly the Disciples' Prayer, is among other things a miracle of condensation. In a short compass of 66 words, the Master presents a model of praying that touches on every major aspect of prayer. One writer said the Lord's Prayer sets the standard for all praying. Everything every man ever needed to understand about prayer is latent in the choice disclosure of these words. That might sound like an astonishing claim, but it is true. No set of theological volumes, no sermon, no series of writings could ever capture the fullness of everything prayer is, as does this simple yet profound model. The more we understand this model, and the more we pray in line with this model, the more powerful and productive our prayer life will become. Because this communication is so important that the enemy seeks to disrupt it. That is why we face the necessity to constantly refocus our thinking on the subject and to seek to deepen and enhance our prowess in the art of prayer. If the Lord's Prayer sets the standard for all praying, then we must lay our praying alongside His pattern in order that our prayers might become more and more like His. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> our Heavenly Father, as we begin this quest for a deeper and more effective prayer life, our heart cries out, Lord, teach me to pray. For I know that when I learn to pray, I learn to live vitally and victoriously. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this subject, look at 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1-8, through 8, 1 Chronicles 16-11, Luke 18, verse 1, and 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, and keep these two questions in mind. What was Christ's injunction? And two, what is Paul's desire? God bless you guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I hope to see you on the next trail ride.